I'm Jennifer, and welcome to The Cut University. Today we're going to talk about how you can leverage social media to help you get and keep your name out there in this crowded barber market. Enough with the small talk, let's go. It's no secret that social media is a big part of our everyday lives. While it's primarily used for communication and entertainment, it is also a powerful marketing tool. If you are on any social media platform, you most likely seen companies and celebrities posting and boasting about themselves and their brands. Why? Because it's the easiest and most cost-effective form of advertisement. But you're not a big company, and maybe not a celebrity. So why do we need social media? Barbers rely heavily on word of mouth referrals. Even in this digital age, getting an endorsement from a loyal customer is money in the bank. Social media takes word of mouth to a new level. It makes it visual, tangible, and infinite. Social media not only creates awareness around you, your brand, and your services, it encourages communication and nurtures relationships with new and existing customers, and it cements your place in a barber community that reaches far beyond your neighborhood. One significant reason barbers need social media is the majority of users across all platforms are men. There are countless social media platforms out there, but here are the ones barbers can benefit from the most. Instagram. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and Instagram can help you say a lot. With this content being primarily photos and videos, Instagram's like show and tell, but with way more show. Posting photos or videos of your shop or your clients before and after can be like a living billboard sent directly to your followers' smartphones. You can include captions to help tell the story you're showing, but most users tend to focus more on the visual than the narrative. Facebook. Facebook works a little like Instagram, but it's equal parts show and tell. Show because you can post pictures and videos, Tell because users on this platform are more likely to read captions. Facebook is one of the oldest social media platforms, so there are a lot more users and it is a preferred network among older demographics. Snapchat. Snapchat is one of the new kids on the block. Like Instagram, it is all visual with users posting photos and videos. With its crazy filters and quick overlapping captions, it's definitely one of the most popular networks among teens and young adults. But Snapchat's uniqueness lies in the posts that are only visible for 24 hours before they are gone forever. It's great for time-sensitive information or promotions that get your followers to act fast. TikTok. TikTok is the latest, the greatest, and the fastest growing go-to platform for information and entertainment. Sometimes both at the same time. Entrepreneurs, professionals, and corporations are creating fun videos ranging from behind the scenes footage to how-to tutorials set to music, and the public is here for it all. If you're not comfortable with video, this platform may not be for you. You may want to give it a shot because, well, nearly everyone is using it. Twitter. While you can post photos and videos to Twitter, this platform is like sending a 240 character text message to thousands of people at once. Twitter feeds move a lot faster than other platforms, so think of using it like a news flash. It's an excellent tool for sharing something important like the link to a write-up about you or to direct folks to something on your website. Tips for success. Your username should be something easy to recognize like your real name, your barber nickname, or the name of your shop. You don't wanna be hard to find. If you use multiple social media platforms, it's best to keep the name consistent between them. Make sure your profile is complete. There's nothing worse than looking up a person or business on social media and finding an incomplete profile. Your profile is a business card and elevator pitch all wrapped in one. Make sure there is a clear photo of yourself so customers can recognize you. Have the correct business contact information. After all, how can they become your new customer if they can't reach you? Lastly, a nice bio that clearly states who you are and what you do in about 250 characters. Know your audience. We've shared the most popular sites with you, but it doesn't mean you have to have a profile on all of them, unless you want to. It's best to understand where your customer base hangs out online and make sure you are connected to them and them to you. Like we said, social media takes word of mouth to another level. Ask your customers to post their fresh cut on their own social media and tag you in the post. That one photo is more than telling a friend. It's telling hundreds or even thousands depending on how popular your client is. If you're already using social media for personal reasons, you're already ahead of the game. You can leverage what you currently have to work for your business. If you're not yet on social media, don't worry. It's not too late and it's not that difficult to start. All of these platforms have tutorials to help you get going. Comment below and tell us which social media platform or platforms you use and why. And be sure to watch our next video on pricing. Thank you for watching The Cut You. Hit the link below to download the cut today and start your 15 day free trial. Join the other 10,000 barbers who are actively getting discovered by new clients and managing their schedules and transactions. Please hit that subscribe bell, like the video and share with someone you think will benefit from what we've shared with you today.